Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Now, for today's tutorial, I asked in the last video and you guys were like, yes, please. So we are going to do a line weight tutorial. And this is more of like a tips and tricks as I have gone along in my path as an artist. These are my tips and tricks when it comes to line weight. So as you can see, there's a lot of different line weights going on in this page. So I've been doing a series on my TikTok, Instagram and all that. And I've even been posting it on YouTube as well of the, of the emotional Disney queens. So this was like the page of the non-emotional Disney queens. So you got like Thumbelina, Odette, Anastasia, and Zipporah. Like I'm gonna start a new page of Disney kings. So emotional Disney kings. All right, and that's just that's just not the princes. That's like all the Disney guys out there because they're like quote quote kings. So I'm gonna start off with Nick Wilde, and as I'm going along, I have grabbed some different line weights for you guys. So let me show you each line weight individually. All right, starting with super duper small. This is a 005 micron pen. All right, so you can see this is for like really tiny details. See how small it is. Very, very tiny. And I hate <laughs> I put lotion on my hands and now my, my hand is like dragging across and going Bleh. Okie doke. And then we're gonna step up to my favorite liner that I use practically for everything. But it's just kind of like, it's a range between 01 and 03, 02, all those fun lengths. Because it has the power to be really small. You see it has as small as 005 but then I can go thicker with it. So this is a PN, and I should label label each one. So this is a PN, this is a micron PN, and this is a 005, so these are PN. And then I have a 05, much thicker. So this is your basic like Sharpie fine tip width almost. It's good for like really, really chonky spaces or just getting that nice thick line on there already done. I do like to use 05 a lot. And then we have my favorite for the super, super, super thick lines. This is a Tombow brush pen by, I'm gonna pronounce this wrong, Fudensuki, whatever. And then we have a classic Pilot High Tech C ballpoint pen and it's a 03. I do like this for sketches especially. So you see, I love it for my cross hatching and it does a good job of not really mixing with my alcohol based markers, but you have to do it like after you have drawn it and it has some time to dry. Next thing I'm gonna do is I like to do, like break up my pieces of paper into four parts. So I'm gonna draw Nick Wilde in the top corner up here. I'm gonna be using my Colorace Vermilion Prismacolor uh, pencil.
when it comes to like really small details, I like to use the 005. So I'll usually use this to get like the eyes and the nose and the mouth, any small, small details. This is also great because Nick has a ton of fur so I can actually mark up. I'll probably do this after I do my Ohuhu markers, alcohol markers on top of this, just so it doesn't smear. But this is great to give definition in like little furry lines here and there. And I can show you that later. But first thing I'm gonna do is go in and I'm going to line all the small details. I just like to get the little details out of the way, but the point to line weight all comes to shading. So if my light source is coming from here, this is my light source. So I always like to draw like a little sun when I'm teaching like shading and light sources. So it's coming down from here. So that's where my sun is. So naturally down here, this right here up top will be really thin. And I like to use the 005 for, the, for actually like lining. I go around and I will hit with little itty bitty spots because this is where my light source is. So the darker you get with your lines, it's more in the, the shadow lands. So the shadow lands down here, for example, down here, maybe I would use a 05 to come down here and get this fur just because it is a really darker area compared to where the light source is hitting up here. So I am going to go in with that 05 and finish lining around where the light source is hitting Nick. Since I like to use the PN to range around 01, 03, I'm gonna go in and finish lining all these different areas. You see how it's much smaller than a 05. So I, that's why I like PN because it has the ability to either be a 01, a 03, anything like that. And it just helps me get a good solid line in. The next thing I'm gonna do, since I don't really like to use like my thick, thick liners until everything's colored, and I wanna show you the rest of my process when it comes to lining, so I'm gonna go ahead and color in Nick really fast, and then I will show you how I use my thicker like liners like this one to go in and really define those shadows.
All right, now that everything is colored in, I'll go in with my thicker liner, which is this Tombow like brush pen. And I'm gonna go in and just get like the darker area. So I'm still following like my light source is coming up here. So underneath his chin, tons of dark lines. And remember I said that I'll actually go in with my PN and I'm gonna go around and make some furry kind of like sketch marks. Not too much, you just wanna be very subtle about it. I don't do too many furry marks, but I'll just do like little ruffs, tufts of hair, just like little like, you know, just like this. And that's about it, I'll just go around and do that on random spots. And then as a artist choice, I go around and I do a lot of cross hatching. So for example, I'll like I'll I'll do this area, I'll draw a line and then I'll fill it in with some darker like little scribbles like going in the same direction, so like for example, underneath his ear and then maybe on the side right here just a couple little marks. Definitely on his nose. And I'll actually grab like the 005 for little itty bitty areas. Last but not least, I'll go in with a white gel pen and just get a couple of light shining areas. And there you guys go. There is how I line using like a shading technique. And yeah, I hope it helps you guys. Just like get four liners that you love and just use them in every single piece that you have. All right guys, I will see you later. Bye.